everyone, it's Nick again from the Stacey Froelich team, and I'm here at Rumble on the Upper East Side, highlighting another local business. And today we're gonna to be meeting Noah, the coach and manager here, and he's going to talk to me a little bit about Rumble, especially on the Upper East Side, and show me how to throw a punch, because as you can probably tell, I don't know how. So let's go for it. All right, so here we are with Noah at Rumble on the Upper East Side. Thank you for doing this. Thanks for having me. So Rumble on the Upper East Side, when did it come here? What are the other locations? What's the, the main one that started it all? We originally opened in 2017 in Chelsea, right on 23rd and 6th. Um, and then we opened this location, our third flagship location in New York uh, in summer of 2018. And I've been here since day one. Uh, I helped open up at the desk and and now I'm managing the building and uh, one of the head trainers here. Nice, congrats. Thank you. So do you see a lot of repeat uh, people coming or is it a lot of new people that try it out? What's the main demographic? I think there's like a pretty reasonable pathway. So you start brand new and I think we're very accessible. Uh, something that we hang our hat on is that you don't have to have any experience. You can walk in dressed perfectly like this, come with nothing and be like, I want to wow. take a class and we'll get you set up. Read me. Good to go. I clearly <laughs> have no experience. Just drag me in the dirt. And then, if you look like me, even you can do this. Yeah, it is. It's it's everybody. It's uh, I mean, you and I even just at different heights could be punching the same bag. Um, but once we get people, whether they've done a billion different types of group fitness classes or never picked up a dumbbell in their life, have no plans of throwing a real punch. Uh, they come and they feel good for 45 minutes, 50 minutes. We also have a treadmill class, which I think is great for people who don't like running. I hate running. Um, I don't know if you could tell, but I have short legs. Uh, I'm not I on my knees. I yeah, I'm practically eye level. <laughs> I'm standing straight up. Um, so I think it's great for everybody to get in, uh, whether it's your first group fitness class or your 500th. And uh, we tend to see repeats because the Upper East Side likes familiarity. And you know, when you're neighbors with your trainer, uh, I think it creates a more comfortable environment, gives you that kind of familiarity of coming back and not just knowing what to expect in the workout, but what to expect from the person, even the people at the desk. Uh, a lot of people we're on a first and last name basis with now. So. And it sort of holds you accountable too, because if you're out and about and you see no at Whole Foods, instinctively you're like, I haven't been at class in a while, I should go. Correct. We don't just recognize names on a sheet. We uh, we recognize faces outside the gym. So um, it's not that I'm haunting people, but. but. I look like I'm haunting yeah. people, but that's just my everyday demeanor. Uh, so how did Rumble really begin? I mean, there's so many different types of workout groups and workout classes and gyms out there. What makes Rumble unique and what, what's the start of it? So we had this amazing overlap with our founding team between people with group fitness experience, celebrity trainers, uh, nightlife people, all coming together and sort of creating a Venn diagram and Rumble is the center. Rumble's the overlap of all that stuff. So you get like luxury restaurant level hospitality with like neighborhood gym kind of familiarity and then like the energy of a nightclub. And you touched on this earlier, but someone like me who has absolutely no experience, are there different levels of classes or how does it work? Sort of uh, when you walk in, you say, I wanna take a class, what happens next? Uh, so I think the strongest foundation of Rumble is accessibility in the workout. So we have trainers like me, like uh, Jessica, who have been boxing for their whole lives. Uh, and we have trainers who come from other gyms, who have experience with spin, who have experience with strength. Uh, and they all come together and teach the same thing. So whether we have first timers in the room or a pro level fighter looking to just have like a nice workout, everybody gets the same workout, everybody can perform to their abilities, it's all very much adjustable. So I, I wouldn't be able to tell you who is and isn't experienced in exercise just by the vibe of the class. I mean, I have a feeling if I was in the class, you would absolutely be able to tell that I was experienced. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but I, I get the sentiment. I get where yeah, you're going. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe eventually after several years of me doing it, you would think that, oh wow, he's a boxer. But certainly today you're gonna be like, let's get him out of here. Um, <laughs> why rumble as opposed to other places? I wanna believe that everything that we do 
better than everyone is make people feel welcome, make people feel included, uh, even under the guise of like, you know, classic group fitness, like high-end luxury boutique fitness. Uh, it should be accessible to everyone, and I think we do a great job of making it that way. Nice. Well, and I think it also speaks to Rumble because, especially boxing, it can be so stigmatized that it's super masculine, and through the years you always see it's only men that really do it, and it's very sort of aggressive and masculine, but here you really are, anyone can do it from someone who clearly is not super masculine or butch and have never <laughs> thrown a punch in my life, to women, to any age gap. It's sort of anyone can come here and feel comfortable doing it. Right, I mean, empowerment isn't gendered. Uh, empowerment doesn't really have like a role in social hierarchy, so we think it can be applied to anyone. And I know a lot of gyms tend to do that, like leave your bad vibes at the door. We welcome it, like we bring it in, like whatever well, you're in. I only have bad vibes. Exactly, so. that's great. <laughs> like haters unite in the room, and instead of boxers, you're like an alchemist. So you can you can make productive energy out of whatever it is that you bring. Nice. So before we end, let's talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing today. I mean, the elephant or the big black balls in the room. Um, Talk a little bit about this, this, what we'll be doing, what it weighs, anything you want to tell me about it. Uh, so just a quick rundown of the class. It's 50-50 between boxing work and like high intensity interval training, very classic group fitness stuff. Um, everybody has their own individual equipment. Both sides of the room are running at once. These bags right here, they are built for both the, the experienced boxer to get like a lot of their work in and also for the inexperienced boxer to be able to make mistakes and not feel in danger at all. Um, there are 180 pounds of pure water, a lot easier on the joints than like sand or any of those like old school bags, so we feel very modern in that. It's 45 minutes, 50 minutes downstairs if you're taking a treadmill class, and uh, you get half the class on the hardware, half the class on the floor side doing the things that might feel a little more familiar for someone who has experience with exercise but not necessarily boxing. For anyone watching out there, including my doctor who yells at me once a month about not working out, how can people sign up for a class or what do they do to sort of get started here? So uh, we have our website, rumbleboxinggym.com. You can always sign up, you can make an account. Even if you never book a class, you can always just be lurking and looking at the schedule. You can read everybody's bio and know everything about everyone before you even take a step into the gym. Um, that being said, we also have an app on the phone where you can do the exact same thing. And of course, the more traditional Upper East Side way of walking in and just letting us set you up ourselves. Um, so we're always more than happy to do that. And when are you open? Uh, our first class of the day starts at 7 a.m. and most, if not every night, we got a 7.30 p.m. closing us out. Wow. And then we're also open on the weekends. Weekend Seven days a week. week. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Christmas? Yep. Wow, even Christmas. Every holiday, every single holiday. Thanksgiving? We don't, yep. I won't be coming either of those days. We <laughs> I think we were open during a hurricane too, so. Wow. Yep, we're like the Waffle House of fitness. Commitment. Yep. I'm gonna cause a hurricane in here. Great, <laughs> exactly. I also, I don't even weigh 180 pounds, so I feel like this is not gonna go well. Um, <laughs> but you never know, first time for everything. You will certainly be safe. All right, well thank you so much, and uh, I guess let's uh, get to boxing, I guess. Let's do it. Tune in next time where we highlight another Upper East Side business.